Well, tonight we're learning more about a DC man gunned down at a hookah lounge last night. This is Blake Bozeman. You can see right there, a close family friend tells us he was at a birthday party at a club on H Street in Northeast when shots were fired. Our Evan Kosloff has more on how this father of three is being remembered tonight. Tonight, I spoke with a close family friend who said it's just way too soon for the family to go on camera, but they described Bozeman as a family man. He was a father of three kids, aged nine, three, and just one years old, and he just got married back in May. Now the family is trying to come to grips with this tremendous loss. Family friend Victoria Reed telling us that Blake Bozeman was a model father, husband, and friend, calling him a fearless entrepreneur, a successful man, and more importantly, a nobleman who loved his family. According to police, Bozeman was one of four people shot just before midnight inside the Crew Lounge, a hookah nightclub on 8th Street Northeast. This morning, the club is closed down, a sign on the door reading it was ordered by police. Investigators say three others were injured in that shooting, but are expected to survive. Police have not said who was the intended target. The family tells us that Bozeman grew up in Bowie and was a well-known basketball player. He was a student athlete at Morgan State University, where his dad was the coach for more than a decade. He was one of those people that you kind of look up to because they were doing things the right way. Lenjo Kilo was Bozeman's teammate when they were teenagers and even played against him at a rival university. He was very mature, very wise for his age. So you never, whenever you, you, you'll be around him, talk to him, you know, you never know, you might leave with some, with some, with some gems of wisdom, you know? So he was, he was a very, very fun loving guy, man. And I'm, I'm going to miss him. Morgan State University also putting out a statement tonight, writing, he was a shining example of what it means to be a student athlete. On the court, they say he finished as the number two all-time leader in minutes played and number three in three-pointers. But it was off the court where they say he really showed his character. The university says he volunteered for the Special Olympics and organized events for the mentally disabled. He wasn't in a spot that he wasn't supposed to be in, wasn't doing anything he was not supposed to be doing. So that could have been any one of us that just go out for a good time and then to lose, use, your, use your life like that, it's unfathomable. Now tonight, police have not identified a suspect, but they say he was seen walking westbound on 8th Street Northeast shortly after that shooting. They're asking anyone with photos or videos to send that to police, and they're offering $25,000 for anyone with information that leads to an arrest. For WUSA 9, I'm Evan Kozloff.